Hello, dear students. In this video, I am going to share with you a very beautiful poem from your textbook in English class 11th Hornbill. And the name of the poem is A Photograph by Shirley Toulson. All of us know very well that death is inevitable. Each one of us will have to face it at some time, but when a person dies, he or she leaves back very painful memories for his or her loved ones. The pain of separation from our loved ones is really unbearable. But still, with the course of time, gradually we become used to with this situation. The moment when someone who was so close to our hearts leaves us, it seems everything in life is over. Life becomes very heavy burden to carry, but gradually with passing days, we become used to with the circumstance. Very often we become nostalgic, thinking of the good old time. Nostalgia meaning uh, a sentimental longing or wistful affection for a period in the past. When we think of the good old time with fondness, but actually we cannot go back and live that life again. We smile thinking of the time, but at the time, at the same time, we feel sad too. Because going back to that life is not possible now. In this poem also, the poet talks about her experience. She also had to go through a very painful situation and in the beginning, the life became so difficult, a very heavy burden to carry, but then gradually she learned to live with the situation. But whenever she looks at the photograph of her mother, she becomes extremely nostalgic and sad and the situation becomes so challenging to overcome. This actually happens with all of us whenever we look at the photograph of our loved ones who have left us. Please don't stop watching this video in the middle. Please watch till the end. One more thing, if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do it right now. You can find the links for all my videos in the description box below. Now let's enter into the poem. Shirley Toulson says, The cardboard shows me how it was when the two girl cousins went paddling, each one holding one of my mother's hands, and she, the big girl, some twelve years or so, all three stood still to smile through their hair at the uncle with the camera. A sweet face, my mother's, that was before I was born. And the sea which appears to have changed less, washed their terribly transient feet. The poet starts this poem with the word cardboard. When Shirley Toulson speaks about the cardboard, uh, she actually speaks about a framed photograph of her mother and this frame is made of a cardboard. One day, the poet was looking at the photograph of her mother, who is actually no more. She was looking at the photograph of her mother and in that photograph, she saw the three girl cousins. These three girl cousins were on their sea holiday at a sea beach. In the photograph, the two girl cousins are holding the hands of the poet's mother. The mother's age in the photograph is around 12 years and they are three in number. Uh, that photograph was taken long back. 
in this uh, photograph all three stood still and they are uh, smiling through their hair and they are looking to the cameraman who is their uncle uh, actually he is clicking their photo the face of the poet's mother is sweet that was the time when the poet was not born because the mother was just 12 years old and uh, after this the poet speaks uh, about the life of the sea and also the life of the mother's feet she says the sea appears to have changed less in these words she wants to say that there is no change in the sea or in the appearance of the sea the sea is still full of energy full of enthusiasm still there is a lot of movement in the sea but it washed the terribly transient feet of a mother and also of the cousin sisters we know that this photograph was taken years back meaning of transient lasting only for a short time impermanent short-lived the poet uses the words terribly transient for the feet of a mother this symbolizes that a human life is short-lived it's not permanent she says that nothing is changed in the appearance of the sea, but the sea has washed the imprints of the mother's feet. Human life is not permanent. We know that this is the law of nature. Still, the pain of separation becomes unbearable for us. The poet says, some 20, 30 years later, she would laugh at the snapshot. See Betty and Dolly, she would say, and look how they dressed us for the beach. The sea holiday was her past, mine is her laughter. Both dry with the labored ease of loss. In these words, Shirley Toulson wants to say that some 20 30 years later, the poet's mother would laugh looking at the snapshot this is the same snapshot which is mentioned in the first stanza the poet is talking about her mother when she was alive with the feeling of nostalgia she would look at the snapshot and would share with the poet that is Shirley Toulson that how they enjoyed uh, that day at uh, the sea beach when everything was so beautiful and they were living a healthy and a carefree life she was remembering the time with fondness she was saying to her daughter that how their parents dressed them for that sea holiday such a beautiful time of a mother while uh, the poet's mother was saying these things to the poet a feeling of nostalgia is clearly seen in her words because she cannot go back to that life again and live those days again the thing that she could do was only to smile and to remember that beautiful time looking at the snapshot the poet says that the sea holiday was the past of her mother and the past of the poet is the time when the mother would share the joy of her childhood time with the poet. Or in other words, when her mother was alive. Both the daughter and the mother rye with the labored ease of loss. Rye means twisted into an expression of disappointment. And labored ease of loss means a feeling of relief that has come from forgetting about the loss with hard labor or with much difficulty. And then in the last lines of the poem, Shirley Toulson says, Now she's been dead nearly as many years as that girl lived. And of this circumstance, there is nothing to say at all. It's silence silences. 
In the last lines of the poem, Shirley Toulson wants to say that many years back she lost her mother. Around 12 years back. And by this circumstance, the poet means her present mental situation when she is living without her mother. She has no words to explain her present mental situation. The pain of separation, the pain of the mother's loss. The death of the mother has created a silence and that silence silences her. The first word silence is a noun and the second word silences is a verb. It's silence silences. And which figure of speech is used in the last line of the poem? That is alliteration. Alliteration meaning the occurrence of the same letter or sound at the beginning of adjacent or closely connected words. It's silence, silences, S and S. So this is the end of the poem and I'm sure that this poem is understood. Can you watch this video at least twice to clear all the doubts? Thank you so much for watching. God bless you.